I posted a poll a few days ago asking you guys which one among the various color boxes and saturators that I have you wanted to hear compared to one another. Choices were between Fatso, SSL Fusion, Neve 542s, and Drummer 1976. These days I don't have much time for videos, so I asked you guys which one you want me to start with because eventually I will try to do all of them and all the comparisons although some of them are really not comparable. But anyway, this time around, the winner was Neve 542s against SSL Fusion. Let's take a listen. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixpress TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below for my mixing courses of ProMix Academy, free plugins, discounts, and special offers. And if the videos are helping you, you want to support the channel, click the join button down here, see all the perks of becoming a Mixpress TV member. You also get mixed consultations with me via Skype or email. Also, my artist Bella video debut throat is out. We passed 100,000 views in just four days, so thank you all. If you haven't watched it, link is gonna be down below. Let's get to the video. Okay, before we start the comparison, for those who are not familiar with the Neve 542s, it's better if I explain you how these modules work because while the SSL Fusion is pretty straightforward, okay, it has the vintage drive which is the main saturator and color, it has the violet EQ which is a really broad EQ with few selected frequencies for highs and lows, it has an HF compressor so a high frequency limiter compressor, it has a stereo image a module with space and width, a transformer, which is the other additional saturator and color. But the Neves are not that straightforward. They're actually quite tricky to use because gain staging with these is everything. And also these two controls interact with each other. Let me explain it to you really quick. First of all, we have the input, which I always leave at Unity, also because it has a dent in the middle, so you are precise. With these two buttons, you activate the tape effect, okay? And we have two controls, the saturation and the blend. Now, these two controls work together synergistically because when you engage the tape saturation, you engage the saturation and a low bump. Now, the low bump could be a 15 IPS or a 30 which is equivalent to about 50 hertz for 15 and 120 at 30 IPS. I usually use 15, so a bump of 50 hertz, which I will try to match with the SSL Violet EQ of 50 hertz. Now here's the tricky part. This is the blend, okay? So the more you turn this one clockwise, the more low bump and saturation you have. But the interesting thing is that when you turn the saturation up, the low bump is reduced, okay? So basically you have to work with these four knobs to get the right amount of bump that you want and also the right amount of saturation that you want. Now, then there's the sweet spot. The sweet spot is when the saturation, when is about, let's say nine o'clock like this, hit the first orange LED. More saturation than that, like for example, if I go like this, all right, and I hit the red, is too much for two bus. Then we have the transformer, which is independent from the tape effect section, okay? In fact, we have another meter here. Red is the bright one and is usually what I use. And then we have a blue one, which has a slight roll off at the high end and a little bump in the low end, okay? And you can activate and deactivate these two independently. We're gonna try them on full mixes. Keep in mind that most of the mixes that I'm gonna use are my mixes, so, I at least mix them with these on, sometimes with both. So the settings are not really to improve the mixes, it's just to show you the differences. Let's hear them in action. Used to be homie, so I'm chased up hard working. Not a say look, just caked up. I made up my mind, I gotta get the bag. Shorty, I am not the one, so don't you get attached. And where I am from, it's like we never had. So if I gotta split, then I get the better half. And I just paint the picture, and I never rap. 
Got my mind on my money, money on my mind, and these streets kind of funny. So I hang on to that line, and my wrist looking lovely. But girl, you can't get my time because time equal money is too easy to decide. I'm hungrier than ever, you can see it in my eyes. I'm high on shine on this side of town. You could get lost and never be found. Fuck it, I'm a rider, it's my fucking time's out, so I gotta make it. It's too much sunshine on this side. I'm a danger, used to be homie, so I'm changed up Hard working, not a say look, just caked up I made up my mind, I gotta get the bag Shorty, I am not the one, so So even just from these two examples, there's a couple of things I want to point out I want you to focus on. First one is the low end. The knees add is not really like EQ. I can try as long as I want to match with the EQ, which sounds great. The Violet EQ, I love it. I love the highs more than the lows, but it's a great sounding EQ, but is EQ while the Neves, the bottom end, it's just something different. It's just a weight that it sounds like nothing else. So in my opinion, uh, from my experience, nothing else add that kind of weight. And if you listen to my mixes since I had them, so several years back, uh, from Reagan Romance, Love Like Mine, or In The Dark, to my last release, Bella's Single Throat, you hear a specific kind of low end, which is big and controlled and contained and just heavy, but never too much. And I think the Neves are a big part of my sound just because I've been mixing into them for so many years and I know them so well, along with the rest of my two bus chain. Because my two bus is pretty complicated, I don't have just the Neves, I actually have five machines. The high end, same thing. I mostly use the red because that's just what I use usually and how I use them. 
uh, it's again very different from EQ, which sounds great on the Fusion, but it's not the same thing. There's one EQ plugin that I find it gets pretty close to the red silk on the Neves if you can't afford the hardware, is the Pass EQ, the SPL Pass EQ, the high band. I don't like the mid bands on that EQ, the low end is pretty cool, but the high end gets pretty close. On the other hand, you can hear how the Fusion adds RMS and just level to the point that I have to output trim to make a comparison because the sound that passes through the Fusion with the vintage drive, it's so much harmonically richer than the, the original that you actually have to level match. And it, you know, you'll notice I usually uh, go not more than nine o'clock, 10 o'clock with these two. So it actually makes a lot of difference how you set these two, even if it's in this low range. The Violet EQ is super nice. And mind you, I usually use these two in combination. So uh, it, it is not a matter of which one is better. It is a matter of which one fits the song better as everything else. Then we have the Transformer, which is very, very subtle. It depends on the material but is a completely different kind of saturation than this saturation. Aside from the low bump, this saturation is smoother and softer and some, somewhat the transient as opposed to the vintage drive that is a bit more mid forward. This is very subtle, but depends on the tracks. On some material is more apparent. And if you want more, you gain stage and you, you know, push the input and you compensate with the output. And of course you're hitting the transformer harder. It gets you more color. Let's keep going with the comparison. What you really, really wanna talk about? Pause. How you wanna go and run my life? Pause. If you got the dollar, the dollar, the go get. If you really wanna see me, you know that the go get. If you really got it, pop it, the pop it, the go get. I you wanna talk? I don't know walk. I just wanna try. I did five thousand, and she just wanna talk about the dick. I'm wildin'. I don't wanna fuck about the bitch. I'm gone. No, no. Better yet, get a little bit of this to get the tech. Gotta have that when the nigga just break your neck. If you really know, then you better just write the check. Be easy, damn boy. It's easy. He know. Can't use the word faggot 
Cause they all hype on life Bro, I'm a cross between DMX and Sean Price I'm kinda godlike, the final boss type Y'all silly trying to kill me, I already spawned twice Got some bottom feeders, theater clowns It's robbing season, I'ma beat them, fucking kneel them down Make them cop a plea for freedom, leave them bleeding out I'm Carlito, mob leader, Don Vito, Nino Brown And I'm OG like Montana I don't mean French or Henna, more like Tony from Havana Cause if they try to throw me in the handcuffs I got my Cody's with the handguns, the puppet police if they act up Cause we got like four keys in the back of the OG We roll deep, man, it go deep in the bang bus we so street like old teeth and bandana So please, y'all so weak, y'all like both knees on a grandma And y'all be drip dropping in Gucci tops and Louboutins New Balenciagas, Louboutins I'm still rocking FUBU hoodies with some Puma socks Like it's 92 and I'm popping locking on boulevards Man, fuck em, Edgar Hoover cops Fucking losers, watch me write these bars in Google Docs Then spot me copping glocks and hopping out of Uber cars To pop so many Rugas off, these Goobers won't know who to call and when they get blasted with the chrome, the blood splatters in the pattern like fucking Atlas out the dome. I carry my city like I'm Atlas with the globe. And if these rappers didn't know, I'm the fucking baddest. Let them know. Let them know I'm the Leviathan. All right, you heard the differences on various material, different genres. Like I said, on mid-video, they are pretty apparent. Not one unit is better than the other because they do different things. Aside from both of them having a saturation, their saturation is so different that it's really hardly comparable. Uh, the saturation on the knee, like I said, is more rounding off transient and taking the edge off while the vintage drive you heard it it adds that bark in the middle and just harmonic content that pushes the rms level up and it sounds amazing the transformers i love the red because it adds that top sheen that it just doesn't sound like eq same for the tape effect it has that weight at the bottom end that it doesn't sound like eq at the same time the violet eq sounds really good the transformer you heard and saw at some point, I turn uh, the input knob and the output trim so that I could run a hotter signal into the SSL and into the transformer, which has no controls, it's just on and off. And you heard how much more apparent that was. So again, obviously they are different. And like I said, in my uh, two bus chain, there's a lot of stuff, including the new S, which has another transformer, another uh, no, iron, the THD. And um, I don't use everything at the same time. So sometimes I use one or none or all of them in combination with you know the rest of the units that's normal of course there's a review for all the machines there's a dedicated review this is a comparison and um probably the next time i will do one of the two with the fat so because that saturation is again completely different than both of them and then the other two too the wes or the drummer so i think it's it's another good comparison to throw uh the fatso in against one of these two leaving in the comment down below which one you want me to compare to the fatso especially keeping in mind that for the fatso i have now the threshold controller so i can drive i have two fatsos this on my side rack has the uh, ELFTC controls. Let me know in the comments down below the next comparison you want to see. And this is it for this video. I hope it was useful. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. Follow Mixbus TV on Instagram and Facebook. There's a lot of exclusive content in there. Videos, news, picture, candidates, behind the scene from the video and all the production that is going on. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the notification bell. It helps the channels a lot. Stay safe. See you next time.